How's it going guys? Back with another one here. Bit of a sunny day here today for a change. But it's not far from the rain. Very windy there now and um, cold wind as well. But in this one anyway we'll let out a few cows and we'll have a bit of an update on the bull there with the throat infection and we'll take a look at that heifer there as well with the pneumonia and we'll see how she's going. And if you haven't already subscribed guys just hit the subscription button there and ring the little bell there for notifications you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video or what have you. So thanks lads. That's the bull now that we have running with these cows. He's another Morrissey bull now. He's what? He's five. He's near six year old now. But well, he's an active bull. And he's good on the feet and all, so we'll be holding on to him for a bit longer. He'd be a five star terminal bull now, but he wouldn't be great on the replacement index. He's only be one star, according to ICBF anyway. But he's a good bull, quiet, easy enough calving, so I can't say much about him. These are some of the calves there now with these cows. Any of the calves here are October, November, and there'll be a scatter of December calves in it as well. There's, a, there's four older calves there as well. They were just they were just weaned in the shed there, that's them there. But they'd be they be what July, late July calves. They were just left in that batch. These are the cows. We'll let them out here today. We'll let them out probably for a couple of days according to the weather. That's the turn bad again. Just try spare a bit of straw because straw is running out quick and fast here now. And we want to hold on to it for fattening there over the along the summer, but I don't know. We'll have to look at some other options as not to be had. There's another few calves there. Peat. Probably look into a bit of peat, but peat is not great this year either. It's very damp in itself. I don't think there's any, it's not lasting very long. I was looking at a bit of sawdust there, but it's fairly expensive now. There was wood chip there as well, but I don't know, it looked, looked sharp in itself. I didn't like. I didn't wonder what it'd be like under cattle like I thought it might be prodding their feet or we get into trouble that way, you get infections in the feet and things that get out of hand very quick. Just wondering what has people been using there instead of straw? I know peat and wood chip as options are right. Just drop in the comments there, see how you've gone on there with it this year. I know it's all gone scarce now as well, but we're going to have to look into something anyway. Straw isn't to be had. And if it is, it's, it's just crazy money now at the minute. But if cattle start going out, that all could change too. But look at, just drop in the comments there if you have been using it there. Just give us an idea how you go on with it and we'll go from there. There's that heifer we were treating for pneumonia. I think she's after pulling over reasonably well there now. She's not too bad. Eating and all, not that much of a pant on her there now, so I think she's recovered from that. These lads are all balling here now since I let out them cows. There's four old cows here beside them as well, they're for culling 
all three old ones and one we have a narky one. We're just tearing the gout after them. And the lad there with the uh, throat infection there. That's him there, you can hear a bit of a gurgle in his throat, but he's not too bad either, I think. He's eating and all anyway, so. He's a good animal there. I think he's recovered enough anyway, we can stop his treatment too now, I'd say he's, he's sorted. Nice bull anyway. That's looking into the diet feeder there now. Maybe some people haven't seen the diet feeder working, but the bars, the stairs, that's a bale handler. Just keeps the bale up and lets it chop it in as it's going around there. So that's the mix there for the heifers there and the bulls. Be the mids mix. So just letting the finish off there now and we'll feed the out home. Now these lads have it finished out fairly well. It's the heifers there. The small pen of bulls as well, they have a click lick clean as well, so we'll top them up. The other lads is on be feeding them now tomorrow. They have theirs. Ah, they'll have it fi finished out for tomorrow as well. Right, we're finished up there now, so we'll get out to him. Now, just let the out of the heifers there now. getting 620 kilos there between them. Oh, I have to keep them going now for two days. We do two day mixes here at this dispatch. Feed the heifers and the small pen of bulls for two days and then tomorrow then I'll be feeding the fattening lads with the bush diet. Just sales mix, sales having the, when we had the cows as well like so. That's just two mixes a day then, like, so it's just save having to do a third one a day. So it just worked out handy enough. That's just getting this out of ease here now. They finished off there at home. Can't really see the the clock there on the on the camera. It's not picking it up. Must be to do with the uh, that that's pen done. Up to these lads here now. These will be getting 650 kilos. Start on them. Leave it there, it's much the same. Have the creep feeder out with these lads here now. The word long sussing it out. They're in here now. This is one of the advantage feeders, the lick feeder. You can adjust how much they're getting. They were on this when they were in the shed, they were getting Probably two kilos a meal a head per day. That was bigger and smaller, so it's hard to know who was eating what, but that's why I was working out over the week. It's creep on one side, it's open on this side, but I have it shut down. 
there's nothing they can't get in the cows can't get anything down out of it so you could get creep on both sides but then when you'd have the creek gate down you'd want a long a loader reach in over there a tractor loader to reach in like if you had the, the creep gate here because they fold up vertically so you wouldn't get the feed, feed into it the lid there but a good job just out checking these here now they're behaving themselves anyway they haven't decided to change anyway that old tank that ended up there giving them a bit of silage here as well just to not have too much of a change and throwing a bit of calmag on top of it here as well they were getting calmag in the in the shed anyway through the diet feeder so they should be fairly okay we just shook it out on top of it there and they can pick away at it on greyhound evening now it's um, cool wind enough blowing there and say so, you now and the falls where it'll be cold but look at we had to get him out anyway this straw is near enough gone with us so when they had a fine day we said we'd let him on just go down and check on these others and see how they're doing these are six all cows that we have let out here well five five all cows and that one there now the nearest one now that one to be a bit narky after she cow and so her cars were marked this time we kept her away from the bull she was earmarked there to be to be gone a couple of times but she got the bull got to her before we got to divide her out so her cars are marked for this time but there's the calves they have nothing wrong rare and good calves but as cows get old you start getting into bits of problems and you get a bit of hardship, like that's a good ca calf there off one of the older ones now. So, that's him there now, and it's, it's, he's a nice calf. So, we have these out as well. Be cool there now this evening, but look at We'll leave him and chance him. The man above will mind him. Right, we'll end the video here. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Good luck.